In this video, we're going to take a look at how to customize drill symbols, their size, which symbols are used in both your drill pattern and your drill chart. The symbols that are used is controlled by the Fabrication Manager, which is found under the Tools ribbon, and it's the first icon, Fabrication Manager. If I go to Drill Symbol Formatting, this is a place where I can globally affect the size of the symbols. So if I wanted to reduce the size, for instance, I could do that. You can also do that for the, uh, the drill chart itself, but I, I have a tendency to let it auto size depending on how large the uh, drill chart is. Additionally, in this uh, pane, you will see that there is a pull down where you can choose which symbols are going to be used uh, when data is loaded. We'll come back to that in just a bit, but I wanted to point it out while we were in here. The next thing I want to point out is the drill table itself. If I go to this and click under symbol on any symbol, I can change any symbol to a different symbol that I have available. You can actually create symbols as well. You can create your own symbols uh, in Blueprint. You can size the symbols individually. So for instance, you know, I've got my vias there. It, it, uh, 0.032, but maybe I want these uh, 100 holes uh, much larger, so we'll say 0.1. Do a preview on that. Notice how these got much bigger up here. Okay, you can work with tolerancing in here as well. Um, in the tool type dialog, this is where you can set how it splits off drills. You'll notice that there's two sets of 8s and two sets of 13s because some of those are partial drills with a start and an end layer. If I want them all combined, I would remove the checkboxes here and it would combine them all together. I can also do a drill chart that shows just a partial drill in it and a drill pattern that shows just that a partial drill in it. Back down to the drill symbol formatting. Now we're going to take a look at how I could choose my own set of symbols to be used um, in my drill pattern and drill chart. So I'm going to tell it to add a new list, uh, my table, or you can define and call it whatever you want to. You have a choice to save this to the current document or to a profile. We're going to save it to a profile. That means that it can be reused on future designs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click OK. Here's the list of all the symbols and I'm just going to choose the ones that I want to use going forward. So I'm just going to go down here to these letters and uh, let's just do A through Z for right now. I'm going to add those and then I'm going to come over like most people do, remove the I, uh, remove the O, sometimes people remove the Q as well. I'm just going to leave that. But once we're happy with that, we go ahead and say OK. And it not only creates this table, but it saves this table to the profile and it updates um, this drawing here. Now to get the drill chart updated, I'll actually go in there one more time. And click OK and it will update the drill chart. A little quirk there, to be honest with you, but uh, that's how you get them both to be updated. And this is, again, how you can customize the size and the shape of the symbols that are being used for your uh, drill charts and your drill patterns. So now that we have a set of symbols that we want to use from design to design, what I'm going to do is basically close Blueprint. And open up a new one here. And in this new one, we're going to go ahead and just load some data in and then put it down onto a drawing to see if what we did worked the way we thought it would. So now I'm just going to import another set of data.
into my template here and as you can see already it is putting the letters down instead of the symbols like we had before. So again this is how you can use that uh, fabrication manager to customize which symbols are used, how big they are, and uh, split off buried and blind. Uh, so many options in there and I do encourage you to go ahead and take a look at all the options that are in uh, this dialogue.